my head probably is telling me, Tim, you should not go and you stay in London. But then my heart was like, you just gotta go. Hey guys, what's happening? What is going on? How are we all doing? Welcome back to another day. And I don't know if you can tell, well, currently we're in a coffee shop. Always gonna start a vlog with some coffee, but I'm currently not in London. I'm actually in Helsinki. And you're probably wondering, Tim, why are you starting your vlog in Helsinki? And why did you not start your vlog in London and then show us all the things you did until I got here? It's actually currently around six o'clock in the evening. I've spent pretty much all my day traveling and the travel was not great. I actually filmed bits and pieces. There is another thing I want to talk about, following your dreams and following what your heart tells you. So I'm not sure if you know, but four weeks ago I filmed, I did a little vlog series when I was in Helsinki, went to different coffee shops. I was here for Pink Festival. And during this trip, I went to a place called Tampere and I met this guy here. Hey. So this is Dave and he's actually having his stag do this weekend. So that's why I'm here. And your birthday. I don't think I've forgotten about that. <laughs> Basically during this trip, Dave asked me if I wanted to come out for a stag do, and just so happened to coincide with my birthday, and you know what, that night I was like, you know what, I just, I'll just go for it. Yeah. I think I'll just book my flight and come, and this is something I really enjoy. I really enjoy traveling, I really enjoy, um, like, just the spontaneous adventure, and my head probably is telling me, Tim, you should not go and you should stay in London, but then my heart was like, you just gotta go. How do you feel about me being here? I'm so psyched, man. You don't sound so psyched. psyched. <laughs> this, is, this is near psyched, like level 10. <laughs> Sorry, I'm so like con trying to find you somewhere nice to eat tonight. It's like so much pressure. Yeah, so basically I'm here in Helsinki and we're trying to find somewhere for dinner tonight. It's, it's just all up to him. It's, I'm leave it to you. That's a bad idea, man. I suck at this kind of thing. So yeah, quick explanation about how we got here today and what happened. So here's a little throwback to this morning, just really small clips, and maybe a little throwback to Helsinki and what we got up to there, and then we're gonna grab some food. Oh, made it to the airport. Yo, that was super stressful. I literally have half an hour before my flight leaves. Train got delayed, Uber got delayed, and security, I got super duper delayed. Hey, how you doing, man? What's up? Right, decided not to go out for dinner, but we managed to get some pizza. I think it's... Ooh. Ooh. Nice. And sweet potato fries. I thought the sweet potato fries were quite expensive, six euro. Doesn't look like there's a lot in here, Dave. I mean, that's a pretty big box of sweet potato fries. Hmm. We'll see. We're gonna get tucked into this, and I think Kat's coming soon, you said? Yeah, she should be home pretty soon. Yeah, she just didn't want to see me, so we'll see. Guys, wrapped up dinner and look who came to join. Hello. I don't know if you remember her, but I'll link up in a card up above of videos we did in Helsinki four weeks ago. Crazy thing is, at the minute, it is currently half nine. It's currently half nine and check out how bright it is. It is honestly so bright. It feels like it's only six o'clock because this is kind of the weather it'll be like in London at six o'clock. The thing I want to know is, when does it get dark? I think official sunset is like 10.30, mm. but l last night at midnight it was still pretty, pretty bright. Okay, we'll see later on. We've got two hours and then we'll do a little check up then and see how bright it is. Ooh, it looks like we we're grabbing bikes again. Probably need to put my camera away because, well, we all know what happened this time last year if you've been watching. Okay, before we go on a cycle, what I wanted to talk about earlier is doing what you love. And like for me, when I was younger, I've always wanted to go out and just to do things. And my parents used to always tell me, Tim, you just gotta think about it before you go do it. But then I love traveling. I like going to meet new people and I like doing new things. So, and I love cycling as bad as it is for my knee, considering I fell last year. I love doing it. And sometimes when you love to do something, you just go to God do it. So. We're gonna go for a little cycle and go see the city. 
it's like 10 o'clock, still pretty bright. made it back from our cycle ride and that was definitely a lot of exercise even though outside it didn't seem that hot and warm but when you get cycling around you do build up a little sweat yeah. as you can tell i'm currently in helsinki and i just want to touch upon earlier on when i talked about doing something you love when i was walking around when i was cycling i then thought to myself you know what sometimes doing things that you love you always just have to put time for it so if you work a full-time job and you're not loving it so much at the minute, maybe spend time in the evening, do something in the evening that you love, even for an hour, for half an hour, it builds up every day. The previous video I made about motivation and motivating yourself, I did say it's all about them small chunks and by doing what you love, you have to do it in small chunks. If you love to go traveling, go out, go travel, do stuff on the weekend, do stuff on your holidays, do stuff on bank holidays, whenever you have an opportunity to do something, just go do it. I feel like for me, when I love something, when I have it in my head that I wanna pursue something and go do it, I'll find a way to go no matter what. So for example, when I was younger, if I wanted to go on a trip, I would somehow find a way to make money or to sell some stuff or to find a part-time job to be able to achieve that goal of going away to like slowly build up the like pocket money so I can do that thing. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Like I enjoy the things I'm doing at the minute and I'm just trying to pursue it as much as I can. And you know what, it might not always work, but you'll never know unless you try it. But yeah, before I end my video, I just want to say, just go out and do it. You don't want to waste time on things that don't matter in life because your dreams, your ambitions matter the most. And what you love doing, it matters the most. You matter the most, not anyone else around you you just need to focus on you sometimes because like if people are dragging you down and not letting you achieve what you love doing or achieve your dreams, then that's not the people you wanna be around. But yeah, I think I'm gonna end my video here. It's currently like one o'clock in the morning yet again. But yeah, I hopefully you guys have really enjoyed today's video. Let me know down below, what do you love doing? What is your dreams? What are your passions? And actually I would love to know, what are you doing to make your dreams and passions come true? But yeah, as per usual, I hope you guys have had a great day, no matter what you're getting up to. And yeah, I'll catch you guys in the next video. I'll see you then.